Welcome back everybody. In this video we're going to take a look at the binary number system. It's an important counting system that's used all throughout the digital world. Your computers rely on it heavily. Digital communications rely on it. Well, hopefully we can make it easy. It's going to look very primitive. I'm just going to be using my mouse in Photoshop here to basically do the notes, but I think we can still get the idea across. So let's get started. So first of all, we have to understand our number system that we used to count. Our number system has 10 symbols in it, and they call it the decimal system. And so I'm just going to write the little short version there. You know, we have the decimal system. And the decimal system is pretty easy. You basically start counting at 0, 1, 2, and you keep going up. And eventually, you hit the number 9. Now when you hit the number 9, something special happens here. We're out of symbols, right? 0 is a symbol, 1 is a symbol, 2 is a symbol. 9 is our last symbol, the tenth one, and now we're out. So what's the rule? Well, the rule you learned back in grade 1 or 2, you may not even know the rule, is you go back to 0, and to indicate that you've used all 10 symbols in your counting, you put a 1 there. So we've gone through all 10 symbols once. And then you basically keep repeating this process. If you keep repeating this process, what you're going to find is you're going to find that the first slot is what you guys have been taught is the ones. The next slot, right, that one right there, is keeping track of how many times you've counted tens or ten objects. And you guys know that the next slot would end up being how many times you've counted a hundred things. So basically that's the pattern and that's the basic idea with our number system, right? The ones, the tens, the hundreds using our ten symbols. Now binary, it's going to be the exact same thing. The only difference with binary is instead of having one symbol in binary, you only get, well, let's just zoom out here. In binary, you only get to have two symbols. And the two symbols you have in binary are ones and zeros. So those ones and zeros have to be used to count, but you're basically going to follow the exact same rule. So you have zeros and you have ones. That's it. Now that's a big difference, right? Decimal system, 10 symbols, binary 2. So how do you end up doing it? Well, when we start counting, basically, when we have zero items, it's zero. When we have one item, you can use the symbol one. When we have two items in the decimal symbol, you'll see what happens here. I need to count to the next number. We'll just follow the same rule you did in the decimal system. Well, I'm out of symbols, so you reset back to zero, and to indicate that you've used all the symbols, you put a one there. And so notice that the number two in decimal is the number one zero in binary. Okay, don't say ten, just say one zero. Okay, now notice when you had to use the next slot. So in binary, we still had this. We still had the ones over here. You had to use the next slot when we counted up to the number two. So it sounds weird, but the next slot is the twos. So let's go to three. I go to three. I add one there. I still have my two. That's good. I go to four. Okay. I'm out of symbols. I go back to zero and I tell the next slot to move up a notch. But I'm at 1, the next slot, I'm out of symbols, so I go to 0, and I indicate the next slot over that I've gone through all my symbols four times. So what's happened here is you'll see that I'm using slots up pretty fast. With the decimal system, you don't have to go to this slot here until you hit 100. But with the binary system, we're moving over slots pretty fast for now because there's only two symbols. Notice that when we use the third slot, so the ones, the twos, this slot is used when we hit four. So the next slot over is known as the fours. I love the mouse drawing here. It's giving me a cramp. Okay, we go to five. We up by one. That can stay the same. That can stay the same. We go to six. That goes back to zero. This should change, and it can go up to a 1. This doesn't change. 
seven, one, 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 and I wish I had room for eight right underneath it, but I'll do the eight right here. I do the eight. Oh, you know what? I can do the eight right here. And the eight, this goes to zero. I'm out of slots. Make this one change. No more, so go back to zero. This one should change. No more symbols. Go back to zero, and I use another slot. So I've now used a fourth slot. So that fourth slot ends up being the eights. Now, you can probably see a pattern here with binary. Since I only have two slots, or two symbols, this here is always changing, okay, times in by two. So one times two is two, two times two is four, four times two is eight. You can probably predict what the next slots are going to be, right? We're going to have a slot for 16, a slot for 32, 64, and this goes on and on and on. So if you actually wanted to go up the slots really fast, you'll see here you have a slot for the ones, you have a slot for the twos, you have a slot for the fours, you have a slot for the eights, you have a slot for the sixteens, thirty-two, sixty-four, and one twenty-eight. Now of course this can keep going up and up and up as far as you want it to go. Okay, so there's no limit, but just for convenience purposes, I'm just going to stop at 128, all right? It gets the basic idea. So how do you do your numbers um, effectively with binary? Well, let me just go back to like the number 5 here. 5, 101. If you want to do this without counting up slowly like I did here, here's the fast way to do it. Once you know your slots, are 1, 2, 4s, 8s, 16s, etc. You can get any number you want really fast. So let's say here that I'm going to do the number 5. Well, do I need any 128s? No. Do I need any 64s? No. 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 Yes, I need to use a 4. So if I use a 4, I put a 1 there. Okay, I need 1 4. I need 0 2s. And I need 1-1. One, one. Now if you add that up, 1-4 one, and 1-1, one, one, that adds up to the number 5. Pretty good, right? Let's say you wanted to do the number 37. Well, I don't need any 128s. I don't need any 64s. Do I need a 32? Yep, I should use a 32. And if I did use 32, that's going to leave me with 30, whoops, that's not good math. That's going to leave me with a nice convenient 5 left over. So I can actually just say no 16s, no 8s, 1, 4, 1, 1. And that adds up. 32 plus 4 plus 1 is 37. And that's basically how you do your binary. Okay, You can forget about these slots in front if you don't need them. So that's how you read binary. So now if I wanted to do some number, you're given a number in binary, and let's say somebody said, oh, the number is 1101. What's that in binary? It's easy to go the other way too. If you have to, just write the number slots underneath, and it tells you the value of each position. Notice how I always start from the right, and I go to the left. And so I have a 1. I have a 4. And I have an 8. Add them up. 1 plus 4 plus 8. And I get myself 13. So that's 13 in binary. So that's really the basics of how to do the binary. Um, and sort of a little bit of the reasons why that works when you only have two symbols. Okay. I'll leave you with a little definition or two here as well. When you do these slots here, each slot that you use, so one single one or zero is called a bit, which you've probably heard of before. And if you have an entire group, let me just put zeros there. If you have an entire group of eight ones and zeros, the entire group of eight of them ends up being a byte. So you've heard these two terms, right? So a byte is just eight 
bits. And a bit is just a single one or zero. We'll talk about the bytes and the bits more later on, but that's the basic. Go try to convert a few numbers. Uh, just to note, if you do have a calculator on your computer, which you should, if you actually set it uh, to different modes, you can actually switch this to programmer mode, or you may not have to, and you're going to see here I have decimal and binary. Look at how you can just practice here if you want to check a few. I can type a decimal number like 12, and I can say binary. It's already telling me it's 110. Or if I want to do a binary number and just clear it out, and I want to say the binary number is 1111, I can see here it's decimal 15. And so usually you can convert very quick, easy, or you can go to Google. There's lots of little online converters for you. Okay, thanks for watching. Go try a few conversions.